Hi everyone, I'm Ellie, founder of Code of the Future, and today I'm going to be showing you how to solve the quadratic formula in Python. So this is the first video on my channel that is mathematics related. Um, I guess, you know, very close to my heart, I study a maths degree, uh, and it's very nice that I can kind of incorporate a little bit of maths. So I hope this video will be useful to those of you that, you know, want to see how coding and maths kind of intertwine. So I guess we'll start straight away. I'll put my glasses on as usual, and I'll move you onto the screen. Okay, perfect. So we are in PyCharm. I've created a Python file called Quadratic Formula, uh, and I'm just going to put solving the quadratic formula. Now, you know, most quadratic formulas are given by this equation here. So you will have a x squared plus b x plus c equals zero. So what we're going to do is we're going to kind of ask you to input the specific a, b and c that you want for the specific quadratic formula you have um, and then we'll use the complex math function in Python to kind of solve it uh, and I'll show you exactly how you do that. So we'll start by importing the relevant modules. So all we're going to do is import cmath, so this is complex math module, it's the c for complex, perfect. So this helps us to deal with imaginary numbers. So for those of you that don't know, you can actually get imaginary numbers from quadratic formulas. Um, that's just when the discriminant, which I'll put a picture of kind of what the quadratic formula is, the equation of it, and the discriminant, which I'll put on the screen now, when that is negative inside the square root, you get imaginary numbers. And this C math, this complex math module will account for that. Okay, so that's, we've imported all the relevant modules we need. Now we're gonna solve the quadratic formula. So obviously this is the quadratic formula here in the case where we have a, b and c. So, so we're going to assign a, b and c to be numbers for different kind of quadratic formulas. You could do this generally and just pick a, b and c, but I'm going to do it whereby you input a, b and c and then it will solve it for you. So you can do it over and over again. So all we're going to say is a equals the integer of the input to input a. We're going to do the same for b, so the integer of the input of input b, and then c is going to be the integer of the input for input c. So when I run this, we'll show you what happens, so I'll click run. Okay, so it tells me to input a, so let's say a is 1, input b, let's say b is 6, and input c, c is 5. Perfect, there we go, it's kind of stored those values as a, b and c. So now we have a, b and c, we can solve it using the quadratic formula. So what I'll say is, and I've just realised uh, this is the quadratic equation here. I've been confusing equation and quadra I've been confusing equation and formula. So this is the equation and the formula is what we use to solve the equation. Apologies for that. So now this is how we solve the quadratic formula. So we've got a, b and c, which is the values for the quadratic equation. And then all we're going to say here is calculate the discriminant. Just calculate the discriminant. Okay, so the discriminant is what is in the square root. Um, you know, you could do this in one whole section, but what I'm going to do is calculate the discriminant and then use that with the equation. So as I say, this is the equation, I'm going to put it on the screen right now, um, and we're just basically going to write that maths-wise in here. So the discriminant is what you see in the square root. So the discriminant, quite simply, is We'll call it D for discriminant is B squared, which is two asterisks and a two, so that's B squared, minus four times A times C. We don't necessarily need the brackets here. Um, you can just, you know, for extra measure, put them between the two so we know that it's this minus this here. So that's a discriminant. B squared minus four AC. Now we're going to calculate the formula add some more spaces down here. So the formula quite simply is we have minus b that we have plus or minus so we'll do the plus root for, for the time being. There are two roots the plus root and the minus root. So minus b plus now we're going to say c math dot square root d. So this here is the minus b plus the square root of b squared minus 4ac so that's everything on the top and then all we're going to do is divide that by 2 times a. Okay, perfect. We're going to copy this because it's identical, paste it, 
and just change the plus to a minus because we have a plus root and a minus root. And all we're going to do is assign these to variables. So we'll say solution one equals that. And solution, solution, can't spell today, two equals this. Because this is a plus here, it doesn't necessarily mean solution one is a plus. That's why I've said solution one and solution two, not, you know, positive, my, uh, negative, um, because it's not always guaranteed to be, you know, that way. Okay, so these are the solutions and all that's left to do is print it. So we'll say print the solutions and all you're going to say is, we'll say print. Now we'll use formatting in this so we can input the solution. Let's say the solutions to the quadratic well, this is not in quotation marks, apologies for that. Let's just make sure it's in quotation marks. The solution to the quadratic equation, the solutions to the quadratic equation are, we're gonna do little squiggly brackets like that and squiggly brackets like that. At the end of the quotation marks, we're gonna do format. And all we're gonna put in here is solution one, solution two. So this is, has gone off the screen slightly. You can, you know, press enter. You can press enter up here and it'll, it'll continue to do it. Um, so there we go, the solutions to the quadratic equation are solution 1 and solution 2 and all I'm going to do now is run the Python file and show you what's how what happens. Okay, so it says input A we've got 1, input B we've got 6, input C let's say 5, this, these are all just random numbers that I'm doing for a random quadratic equation. Press enter, perfect, so it's the solutions to the quadratic equation are minus 1 plus 0j, so that's the imaginary unit, there's no imaginary number there and minus 5 plus 0j. So here we have the solutions to the quadratic equation are minus 1 and minus 5. How cool is that? Okay, so now what I'm going to show you is let's say we have imaginary numbers, so let's say we have the discriminant is negative. So what I'm going to just put here, this will return, in fact I'll put it below, I'll say this will return an imaginary number if b squared if b squared is less than 4ac because what will happen is if if b squared is less than 4ac then this will be negative so let's try find some numbers that will be less than so let's let's choose let's say b is 1 so 1 will definitely be less than you know 4 and let's say a and c are 1 2 so let's do all of them 1 1 1 see what happens so input a 1 Input B is 1, input C is 1, let's see what happens. Okay, so it tells us the solution to the quadratic equation are minus 5 plus this decimal number here, J, so that's imaginary. You often see J written as I, um, usually imaginary numbers are written with an I, um, but in C math it appears to do it with J, which is, which is quite interesting. So obviously this is a very kind of confusing number, I assume if you're just learning quadratic formula and imaginary numbers, you probably wouldn't be asked to do this. Um, let's try figure. Let's try find something. Let's try find some numbers like a, b, and c, where it'll give you a nice imaginary number. Okay, so I'll just do this below. We'll we'll do this as a bit of kind of like maths lesson, I guess. Um, so we know we will have an imaginary number if b squared is less than four ac. Let's say we want a whole imaginary number so in that case we want b squared minus 4ac to equal a squared number so something squared so let's say so we want so b squared must equal a square of the number so all that means is b squared minus 4ac when you square root that you'll get a positive number so let's think of some examples so let's say b is so let's say we have b is 2 and then we'll let okay so we'll have 2 squared which is 4 minus 4ac so let's say a okay so we'll let a equal 1 and we'll let c equal 5 and then let's try this so let's do so a is 1 whoop click on here a is 1 b was 2 c is 5 let's see what we get perfect the solution to the quadratic equation are minus 1 plus 2j and minus 1 minus 2j. So there we go, we've got 2, which is a whole number. Perfect. So that was a little bit of an add-on. You know, you don't necessarily need to do this because whatever numbers you put into the quadratic formula, you know, a, b and c, you'll be able to get the solution out. But I thought this was a really nice way of showing you how you can do it. Say you were just learning maths and you really like coding. 
um, and you maybe have loads of question sheets and you just want to figure it out then there you go there's a nice little python code where you can figure out how to do the quadratic formula so i hope this video will be kind of the first of many maths videos on my channel i'm hoping to show you what i did as part of my dissertation which was maths and physics related so hopefully that video will be on this channel you know in the future hopefully soon um i hope you enjoyed this video if you want any more maths videos comment them down below i'll try my best to to make some videos on those but for now i hope you enjoyed the video if you did please like subscribe and comment and i'll see you all in the next video